Well, today, several lawmakers, including Lauren Boebert, held a roundtable in Aurora to discuss recent developments regarding the Venezuelan gang members in that area. Now, Aurora police confirmed to Denver 7 it has documented 10 members of the TDA gang in the city. They also say six have been arrested. But we now know that this is sparking such debate among politicians and you, of course, about what is and isn't true about that gang's presence. Denver 7's Brandon Richard went to the round table and shows the new claim getting attention tonight. Well, Congresswoman Lauren Bird invited a Texas congressman here to Aurora, where they held a roundtable discussion about an issue that's really become a national story. It also gave them an opportunity to hear from local officials as well as concerned residents. You guys don't know what it feels like to be a minority in your own home. I'm telling you, it's terrifying. Cindy Romero says she lived in constant fear every night as a tenant at the Edge at Lowry Apartments in Aurora. She says she was the person who took video showing armed men at the apartment complex, a video that has since gone viral. I've seen them moving the guns that morning. I called and reported it. I have cameras picking them up, moving the guns from one building to another. She shared her story during a roundtable hosted by Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. A Boebert doesn't represent any part of Aurora, nor would she represent the neighborhoods the apartments are located in if she's elected to the 4th District in November. The purpose of this meeting was to get information out to Coloradans because unfortunately the media has done uh, the complete opposite. They want to cover this up and label it as a conspiracy. The roundtable was held on the same day Boebert and Colorado Congressman Greg Lopez sent a letter to the Secretary of Homeland Security, the FBI Director, and the Acting Director of ICE. They cited several claims made by a Denver law firm, which says it investigated crime at an Aurora apartment complex and found evidence of gangs committing several crimes, from assault and battery to firearm possessions. But one that stood out most, claims of sexually abusing children is a nonpartisan uh, 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 law firm that has come out with this. Uh, this is information uh, that is, is vetted. It is nonpartisan. The law firm's findings were outlined in a letter sent to Aurora's interim police chief, the mayor and city manager. Aurora police tell us the city received the letter and immediately included it in its ongoing investigative work. APD did not say, however, if the claims made by the law firm were true. But that's not stopping Boebert of accusing the media of trying to gloss over it. Because we have a media that wants to cover up anything that does not go with the narrative of wide open borders. Anything that aligns with sanctuary policies put forward by the Democrats in office here in Colorado. In Aurora, Brandon Richard, Denver 7. And Aurora Police Department says it continues to aggressively investigate and pursue any criminal activity reported or related to the properties owned by CBZ management. And Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman spent the week meeting with tenants from the apartment complexes we're talking about. And in a post on social media today, he says gang members are not in control of them. However, he says he believes gang related problems cause property management to leave. Kaufman says the city manager met with representatives for the property owner yesterday and offered to place two Aurora police officers at each complex for two weeks if the owner is willing to provide on-site property managers. The city manager says he's still waiting for a response.